it's almost game day. The baby is almost here. But in reality, I've been doing more of this lately. <laughs> After nine months of prep, it is finally go time. So it's time to show you guys what I packed for the hospital. Peace. <laughs> hey girl. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Yes. Yes. Hi, Lucy. Hmm. You gonna help mom? Okay, so I know I'm going from how to pack for Positano to how to pack for the hospital, but this is my life now. So let's get into it. So first of all, let's talk admin stuff. So importantly, you will have to bring your photo ID, like a license, your insurance card, and I would recommend bringing your birth plan or birth preferences just so you have them for your doctor. Okay, secondly, clothing. You will have to bring clothing for your hospital stay as well as when you're going home from the hospital. So here are a few things that I recommend and that I'm packing. First of all, if you're planning on nursing, you're gonna wanna bring a nursing bra. Now, what makes a nursing bra? It unclips for easy access to the boobie. So this one is from Motherhood Maternity. It's actually just a sports bra that's a nursing bra. So it's very comfortable. I'll probably end up delivering in it. So that's my plan. And speaking of delivery, now this is not necessary, but it is a piece of comfort. I am bringing my own delivery gown. And one of my friends got this for me for my baby shower, and it's just much more comfortable than what they're gonna provide at the hospital, but you can also take what they provide at the hospital. So for post-birth, I have some nursing pajamas that I bought, super comfy cozy, and what makes them nursing pajamas is you can just unbutton them and whip your boob out. Super easy. Again, hit the easy button and the comfort button on all of your clothes for the hospital. I am also bringing a robe. Now, I don't often wear robes at home, but it is recommended by lots of friends. So if you're going from room to the bathroom or just wanna be a little more comfortable, brought my robe. Again, this is also from Motherhood Maternity. Super affordable and comfy stuff. Okay, another item that is a must, slippers. When you are walking around the hospital, you definitely don't want to be barefoot. That's gross. So bring some comfortable slippers that you can slip on and off so that when you're in labor and you're walking around or postpartum, you can comfortably move yourself around the hospital. I'm also bringing super cozy, chunky, warm socks. One pair just warm socks and then another pair with some rubber type soles on the bottom so that I can just wear these instead of slippers if I want, because the girl's gotta have options. Okay, and lastly, a going home outfit. What are you gonna go home in with the baby? Oh my gosh, you're going in as two people, you're leaving as three or more in some cases, not mine. So I am going to bring a nursing top, which I don't even have to wear a bra with it in this case. It's just a built-in, plus this shawl that goes over because when I leave the hospital, I'm still gonna have a belly because I just had a baby. But this makes me feel like super cozy and comfy and kind of chic, even after just having a baby. So pick something I would recommend that you feel really comfortable in, you feel really good in, and you feel really cozy in, and that you can carry a baby in. Okay, moving on to pain management tools. Now these are totally optional, and this is what works for me or what I'm hoping will work for me. So I took a hypnobirthing class and Scott and I did together and we're gonna be bringing this hypnobirthing manual with us that has just some reminders of how to breathe, some partner affirmations that Scott can help me with throughout the labor process and hopefully it will help me manage my pain. And then also I'm bringing this Mark Pro which is a TENS machine unit it's a little extra, <laughs> but I've heard that it's great for labor pains. If I'm getting any back labor pains, then I just stick this TENS unit on and it will help alleviate those pains. So again, these two things are not necessary, but they are important to me. So. No. Lucy, we're gonna need quiet on set. Do you wanna come say hi to the camera? Come here. Come say hi. I can't pack this little bugger, unfortunately. I don't think. She'll like the hospital, but I don't think 
don't want you there either, but I wish you could be there. Everyone, this is Lucy. Say hi. Hi, I'm a toy Australian Shepherd, and I'm so happy. <laughs> and I'm gonna be a big sister. Okay, go to dad. Or stay here if you want. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna talk about <laughs> being distracted by the cutest dog in the world. <laughs> I'm gonna talk about a few other things that I am packing, some creature comforts from home to help me during labor. Can I help? So I am packing a pillow because I've heard that the hospital pillows are less than stellar. I've also heard to pack a different color pillowcase because you don't want your pillow getting mixed up with the hospital pillowcases, so packing a dark gray one. I'm also packing this water bottle. It's an Ivana water bottle I got on Amazon. It has a built-in straw, which I've heard is key for staying hydrated while you're in labor. That way I can just sip away. Also, bringing these extra long phone chargers. Now, everyone across the board has recommended these to us, so we got them. We got two on Amazon, and so the reason why we got extra long phone chargers is because the outlets are not close to the hospital beds. And when I am recovering, or maybe in labor and I'm laying in bed, I don't wanna to have to get up. So I'm gonna have these phone chargers that can extend from bed to the outlet that's far away. So I think these are 10 feet long, which should hopefully cover it. And we are also bringing blankets from home. So I'm gonna pick this one up. Now the hospital will provide blankets, but we just wanted some creature comforts from home. Now, because we're delivering during some strange COVID times, Scott cannot leave the hospital at all. So both of us are bringing blankets to have some comfort from home. What are you eating? It's just like a... Got it. <gasps> chocolate? How'd you find chocolate? Where'd you find chocolate? There's been no food in this room. No. <sighs> Kids, man. I am also bringing my Beats by Dre Power Beats headphones because I wanna be able to listen to my birth playlist that I made on Spotify and my birth affirmations and just kind of get in that zone and music helps me do that. So, headphones, check. We are also bringing some snacks. Now, I know the hospital has a food court and has some vending machines, but we wanna be prepared, so. We are bringing some coffees. We got this Super Espresso Protein MCT Oil Fancy Canned Coffee, as well as just plain old cold brew blue bottle coffee. We have two of each for mom and dad. I doubt I'll be drinking coffee, but maybe. <laughs> and then we got some RX Bar uh, Protein Oatmeal and some coconut water. And I'm also bringing an entire box of protein bars which I probably won't go through, but you need to be prepared, right? <laughs> and lastly, on the things that I am bringing are my toiletries. Now, these are not actually packed yet because they are going to be a last minute addition, but I do have a list that I can then go to just to pack last minute. These are things such as my toothbrush and toothpaste, my deodorant, my face wash, my hair ties, lip balm, shampoo, conditioner, and some lotion. So I will list that all right here. And I would recommend having a list ready to go so you guys can just check it right before you leave. One other big thing that you must, must pack with you and install before you leave for the hospital is the car seat for the baby, because the hospital will not let you go home with that baby until that car seat is safely and properly installed. So please do that well ahead of time. Our car seat is installed. We got the Nuna Pippa Light RX. It's awesome, it's only like six pounds. And it's installed properly, easily, and we're ready to go to the hospital. We are also packing a few items for this baby girl to take her home. So we wanna bring <laughs> These are so cute. A tiny little outfit to take her home in. I mean, these are so cute. So I brought a newborn size and I also brought one zero to three month night outfit, sleep outfit, in case she's bigger than a newborn size. So newborn size is usually eight pounds, under eight pounds. 
So if she's bigger than eight pounds, she'll fit in this. And because it's March in New Jersey, I brought a bunting to keep her warm. She's gonna look like a little bear in it. <laughs> so this is so adorable. I can't wait to see her in this. Oh my gosh. I think she'll fit. Yeah. And I packed these. I don't know if they're necessary, but I did pack two diapers. I know that the hospital is gonna provide them, but if we wanted to take any photos, I packed these really cute, honest diapers. They're adorable. And I also packed a little bow for her head. <laughs> I'm ridiculous. And some socks for her tiny feet. And what else? And mittens. And that's all. Lucy, will you fit in these? <laughs> yeah. Okay. You wanna wear them? So that is everything that I packed for the hospital, which is a lot, but I am going to let Scott take over and share with you what he is packing for the hospital and what all of you guys and husbands should be packing for the hospital. All right, gentlemen, if you haven't figured out already, your role in the birth and pregnancy is you are the number one support team member. So that means your job is to take care of mom the best you can. So eliminate all the roadblocks and all the problems when it comes to the birth and try to make her feel as comfortable as possible. Now, so when you look at what I am packing in my bag, first thing is I need to be comfortable as well. I have t-shirts, I've got a hoodie, I've got long sleeve t-shirt, and all of these things are cuts. And if you've been following along, you know how much I love cuts. This is cuts as well. It is now my go-to brand with basically anything I wear. And the reason why I love cuts, not only does it look so good, I actually, this is their new hoodie. It's probably my favorite. I wear it all the time, but it's also super comfortable. So now what's great is I'll be able to help Colette through this tough, arduous process, but also I'll be comfortable and warm because you never know if it's gonna be cold or hot in the hospital. I've got plenty of options. And so we want to extend the gift of cuts to you. So click the link below, use the code ROMARU, and you can get 15% off your purchase of cuts. Now, next up, Bluetooth speaker. So Colette has some meditations and some music, and this is the Bose micro speaker. We've talked about it before, absolutely love it. It's the best bang for your buck and the most portable little Bluetooth speaker. We love it. I think it is just over hundred bucks now. I highly recommend it. Next up, swimsuit and flip-flops. Now, why do we have these inside a hospital? Well, depending on what your hospital offers, they might have a bathtub or a shower. And so I've got both of these because one, I need the swimsuit to go inside and out of the shower and also need flip-flops to throw on and off because you don't want to be walking barefoot inside a hospital. And I think lastly, like any super dad, camera and extra battery. So you want to be prepared because definitely need to have the extra batteries and a charger because you don't know how long this is going to take. Now, when it comes to the camera, Clet and I have had a discussion before and I recommend you do that with your partner if you want photos and videos of the process. Now, Clet and I have decided to do that. Now, what we do with those videos, we'll decide afterwards. You can always delete it, but you can never go back and capture that moment. And the other thing we decided was if for some reason the camera is uh, becoming a nuisance or detracting us from the actual birthing process, then we will just put it aside. And so in the end, you wanna be prepared. So as they say, two is one and one is none. So you wanna make sure that you have extra batteries and extra SD cards so you're prepared for the whole process. So the last thing is a Chromecast. That's right, we are bringing some entertainment. So I'm hoping that this will work with the TV. We've been told that there's Wi-Fi. And uh, this will be able to allow us that when we're there for maybe up to a total of three days in the hospital, we can watch a movie or two, but who knows? We'll probably just be too exhausted and just be sleeping and playing with our baby, but we'll pack it nonetheless.